Sheldon Creed said he's not making a dollar racing NASCAR this year. Let's talk about that. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. People on the internet are shocked to learn that drivers are buying rides in the Xfinity Series, which I thought was a pretty open thing that everybody knew at this point. Or maybe they just want people to say it publicly. So if you watch Saturday's NASCAR Xfinity Series race from Darlington, you saw Sheldon Creed about to cruise to his first ever NASCAR Xfinity Series victory after 11 second place finishes. Move over Dale Jarrett. There's a new leader in the clubhouse here for second place finishes. Sheldon Creed was in position to do that until there was a caution in those final laps when AJ Allmendinger absolutely destroyed the wall. NASCAR held the caution for quite some time and then finally threw it. That set up an overtime restart. They pitted for new tires. Creed goes from first to third. And then on the restart is not able to get back around Cole Custer and Christopher Bell. Bell goes on to win the race. Creed finishes third, gets out of the car after the race, super bummed, of course, looked like he was going to win his first ever Xfinity race, and then has to has this to say. I took a chance on myself, and, and we brought all the money we could. I'm literally not even making a dollar this year. We got together all the money that we could. I'm literally not making a dollar this year. And the internet seemed shocked by that. Is it surprising that he's not making any money? Yeah, absolutely. That's slightly surprising. But it's not that surprising uh, when you think about it in the grand scheme of things. I mean, heck, when Daniel Hemrick was there at Joe Gibbs Racing, he was only getting paid for top five finishes. For Creed, I'll get into how I think that his, you know, model of sponsorship works out. But for people to be surprised that drivers are buying rides in the Xfinity series, literally every single person is doing that. I mean, you starting off, we'll start with Sheldon Creed. He's buying his ride. His teammate Chandler Smith is buying his ride. Half the people that are rotating through the uh, JGR rotating seats are buying their rides. I mean, John Hunter Nemechek's bringing a sponsor over Joe Grass buying those seats. Um, Ryan Truex to an extent uh, a little bit there, but everybody's buying seats in the Xfinity series. Sammy Smith, Justin Allgaier, Sam Mayer. Um, Everybody over at Joe Gibbs or at JRM is buying seats over there. Brandon Jones, perfect example of that. Austin Hills buying a seat at uh, RCR. People are buying seats all around, even in the smaller seats at that. Jeffrey Earnhardt's buying seats. Jeff Burton's buying seats. Parker Retzoff buying seats. Everybody in the Xfinity Series is buying seats outside of like a Carson Quapple or a Josh Berry when they were down there. There's still some people that are getting hired on talent, some people that are working through driver development programs. TRD is certainly funding a few drivers on their own where those drivers aren't necessarily buying those seats. But for the most part, as Brad Perez says on Twitter, everybody's buying seats in the Xfinity Series. That shouldn't be a shock. I think people were shocked by Sheldon saying that he's not making a dollar. So let me kind of just lay out uh, how sometimes it works when you bring budget to a team. So Sheldon Creed goes out and finds a sponsor. He's got a sponsor. He's probably got other money coming in from other sources as well. Maybe there's some family money. Maybe there's some other money coming in. So he takes that budget and presents it to Joe Gibbs Racing and say it's $8 million a year. I actually don't know how much money he brought. I know that he brought a lot of money. Uh, so say he's got six to $8 million and he brings that over to Joe Gibbs Racing. He's like, this is my budget for this year. And they're like, great, we can run a a plus program using that six to $8 million. Great. What about your salary? Well, we can run an A program or we can run an A plus program. So Sheldon Creed essentially is not taking a cut out of the budget that he's bringing and is instead putting all that money into the race team to hopefully get that first victory in the Xfinity Series, compete for a championship. So we've seen drivers in the past um, talk about how this model works, where they'll get a budget from a sponsor. Say they have Ream as a sponsor. We'll use Brandon Jones as an example here. And he takes that money and has that $68 million. And he's like, okay, I have this $8 million that I'm going to take to Joe or to Junior Motorsports. I need to get paid out of that. So I'm going to take 10% or whatever he wants out of that. So now he takes that out and then he gives 90% of that budget to the team. And they have that to use to run the team for the season. He takes that other 10% and that's what he's going to live off of. That's his salary for driving that race car. How much drivers want to give out of that budget to the team, that's usually sometimes up to them. It kind of depends on who your sponsor is and how you have all that laid out. But that's typically how something in that range works. Now, there's certainly different setups, right? There are some drivers that will get paid just based off of race winnings from the team. If that's how they have it structured in their contract, there's incentives for, you know, top tens, top fives, wins, stuff like that. You have the the Daniel Hemrick example where he's only getting paid for top five. So if he doesn't finish in the top five that weekend, he's not getting paid any money. He has to wait until the next weekend. I hope he finishes in the top five and then he gets a cut out of the money for that. So that's the underside of how sponsorships and driver payments are working in the Xfinity series. Now, there certainly are people that have salaries set out in the contract. Like I have to get paid this amount of money each week and things work out that way. But for the most part, when it comes to budgets, there's guys that 
aren't really making the money that I think a lot of people think they're probably making. There's guys that are making good living. So don't get me wrong. There are definitely guys in the Xfinity series that are making solid livings out of this. But when you think about it from Sheldon Creed's standpoint, all of the money that he could have taken probably for a salary is going back into the team to try to succeed uh, this year. And so far, he hasn't got that first win, but he came closer than he ever has. So for people to be surprised that drivers are openly saying that they buy rides, I'm not sure why they're surprised by that. I mean, heck, William Byron bought a ride at Junior Motorsports. Chase Elliott bought a ride at Junior Motorsports when he brought Napa along with him. People are buying rides everywhere they go at this point. It just kind of is the name of the game. If you have a sponsor behind you and there's a good seat open, you're buying that ride. Unless you're part of some sort of driver development program and the team is going to you know, fund you to drive that car, uh, Connor Zilich at JRM. Trackhouse is, you know, essentially buying that car for for him. And then Connor's put in that car. It doesn't necessarily have to bring money along uh, with him. TRD, Corey Heim just kind of goes where TRD wants him to go. That's why he's got Safe Light on the car, JBL, Yahoo. Those are all Toyota sponsors that TRD has put together uh, for him. So that's kind of the difference here. You have some guys that have to bring their budget, some guys that are in these pipelines and kind of work their way up, uh, you know, going through it. Christian Neck is actually a perfect example. Just announced on Saturday he's going to Colleg Racing. He does not bring a budget with him. He's being hired to drive that car. Colleg is going to find sponsors for it, which, of course, the 16 is kind of the house car over at Colleg Racing, right? There's a lot of Colleg companies that rotate through that, and it's a pretty funded race car. So Christian Eckes doesn't have to bring budget. He's going to be paid to drive that car. Meanwhile, you have um, Josh Williams over there. He brings budget with him. That's the reason why he's over there. He's not there because Call, you know, was like, we're hiring this guy on talent. I'm not saying he's not talented. I'm just saying that he brought budget and it made sense for the team financially. That's why he's in that race car. It's just kind of how the Xfinity series works at this point. Uh, so I'm surprised that people were surprised by it. Uh, but yeah, for Sheldon to be that honest and open, I appreciate it, right? Like, it's cool to see the insights and like these guys are struggling like this is very much like make or break for a lot of these guys and they're bringing a lot of money to try to you know impress the team to move up to the cup series um and sometimes it just doesn't work out and sometimes you have heartbreak like sheldon has and as he said in the pre-race like i'm running out of ways to lose these things i would agree with you but it doesn't say that you can't just start repeating those ways again so yeah that's kind of how you know sponsorship is working these days and it's unfortunate but at this moment, it's the name of the game, especially in the Xfinity series. Uh, Cup series, you have guys that are still bringing money, but a lot more guys are getting hired necessary, more necessarily than you know having to bring budget with them. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hardball.